Hello everyone, I'm Sandy Winarko, a product manager for Business Central. In this presentation, I will show you what's new in Power Pages on Business Central virtual tables. So if you remember, uh, Power Pages on virtual tables has been in public preview since, la since last uh, 23rd Wave 2 uh, release, right? So now in a 24 Wave 1 release, we are introducing a, a small feature that has been in high demand by many uh, partners and customers, which is multi-company support through Dataverse shared execution variable. So in later in the demo, I will show the following. I will first uh, review the access to business center data enabled by Power Pages on virtual tables, anonymous or authenticated access for external user, as well as authenticated access for internal users. And then I will show you the standard global company setting used by virtual table plugin for all users and apps uh, and Power Pages portals. And then I will show you also the standard user-specific company setting used by virtual table plugin to override the global one. So in this case, uh, for each user, you can have a, a targeting one company, and then all apps and uh, Power Pages portal will, will use that company to show the, the data from uh, Business Central. So the new feature is uh, essentially allowing uh, virtual table plugin to use a Dataverse shared execution variable that we call BC Company ID. With this uh, shared execution variable, a virtual table plugin can actually override both the global and user-specific company settings. So in this case, you can have multiple uh, Power Pages uh, portals addressing different um, uh, company in Business Central. So this is the f the feature that uh, uh, was not supported before multi-company support. And finally, I will show you how to build custom Dataverse mapping plugin and mapping table that can be created to set the BC company ID shared variable for any combination of users, Power Apps, and Power Pages portals. All right? So before I, uh, before I go to the demo, let me uh, give you a review of uh, anonymous or authenticated access for external and internal users that are uh, enabled with Power Pages on virtual tables. There are three scenarios that are uh, enabled by this, uh, this feature. First is anonymous read-only access for external or unlicensed user without signing in. So uh, uh, Power Pages allow you to create, for example, a B2B portal. So customer does not have to sign into the portal and when they visit it, they can see business central data uh, even though they are unlicensed, right? The second um, type of access is authenticated, authenticated access for external or unlicensed user after registration and signing in. And finally, uh, the third type of access is uh, authenticated access for internal or licensed user after they sign in. So the third type of access is essentially the same like a uh, business central um, uh, virtual tables. So you actually have to be licensed to be able to access uh, business central virtual tables in Dataverse. The first two, you don't need to be licensed. So uh, you might ask the question, uh, what's the difference between external and inter internal user? So I'll show you an, an, an excerpt from the Dynamics 365 licensing guide. It essentially says that external user are those users who have a employee who are not in an employee-like relationship. So they are actually, uh, they are not in an employee-like relationship. Uh, most, of, most of the time they are user from the customer or vendor organizations who, who need to access um, uh, business central data, but they don't have a license. For example, in the process of um, customer onboarding or vendor, um, uh, vendor bidding process. So this type of user can be allowed to access business central data through Power Pages. Okay, and internal users are essentially uh, those user or um, uh, those user who actually employee or those user who actually are performing uh, business processes on the behalf of the company with business with business central license. So these internal users have to have a license to access business central data from anywhere. All right, so that's a little bit of um, illustration and diagram the differentiating between external and internal user. And now let me show you how 
actually the custom Dataverse mapping plugin and table will work to allow multi-company support. In the standard um, um, uh, Power Pages portal access to Business Center virtual tables, it will use um, um, a Dataverse CRUD API that will be translated by the virtual table plugin into Business Central CRUD API, targeting the Business Central company that's configured uh, in the global or user-specific company settings. This is a standard that's been around for a while, right? But now you can actually create a custom Dataverse mapping plugin, plugin and table where the plugin can be created to intercept any Power Apps or any Power Pages portal trying to access a selected Business Central virtual tables through the Dataverse CRUD API. For example, you can actually create a mapping plugin where whenever a Power Pages portal try to access the sales invoice virtual table for Business Central through the re, uh, retrieve or retrieve multiple, which is the read API for Dataverse, this plugin can be actually triggered. And this plugin will actually work with the mapping table to find any combination of user, app, and sub portal that is assigned to their specific business central comp company. So in this example, if portal two has a mapping table record that targets company two, the mapping plugin will set the shared BC company ID variable to company two. So then uh, next, when the uh, virtual table plugin actually pick up the operation, it will then use the content of the BC company ID uh, variable, the shared variable, to translate Dataverse CRUD API into Business Central CRUD API, targeting company to and completely overriding the global and user specific company settings. And how do we actually create and register this plugin and uh, create the content for the mapping table? So it's very simple, and you can actually look at the, the link in this presentation, which is a, um, a learned, uh, learning document from a Dataverse uh, uh, sites. There's a Dataverse plugin documentation and how to register, right? So um, you will see in the screenshot, there's a, a plugin uh, registration tool where in this case, I'm actually registering my um, company mapping plugin to intercept, retrieve, and retrieve multiple access to sales invoice virtual table. So whenever there is a site that trying to read a sales invoice table, which is virtualized in Dataverse, this plugin will be triggered. When that, uh, the plugin will be triggered, it's very important because you want to actually make sure that you prepare the shared variable before the, um, before the virtual table plugin can use it, right? So in this case, um, in the next picture, you can see that uh, I set it up to intercept at the pre-validation stage. So now we have the uh, mapping plugin. You can actually create a content or a record in the mapping table to make sure that a certain site will be uh, targeting a, a certain business central company. So for example, um, if you have a portal and uh, in the URL of this uh, Power, Power Pages portal, you put a slash underscore services slash about, you can actually see the portal ID, which is actually a GUID, right? And then you can actually enter this GUID into your uh, mapping table, what I call in here uh, app name company mappings, right? And you can see here uh, the, last, the, the last row for portal ID, um, the one that I show in the screen, uh, 1E, C, 2E, et cetera, right? It's actually mapping or targeting my company. So whenever that portal's open, it will always use my company as the business central um, uh, company to target. And it will override the global and user specific settings. The code for the plugin looks very simple. So this is a very um, a short code um, um, that will be published in, the, uh, in our documentation after the Business Central launch event. It will deal with two triggers. So basically, whenever you launch a Power Apps targeting um, a Business Central virtual table, or whenever you launch a Power Page portal targeting the Business Central virtual table. In the case of Power Pages, it will actually uh, 
parse the user agent of the Power Pages and try to pick the portal ID from that user agent of the Power Pages portal. Once it got the, uh, the portal ID, it will look at the mapping table if there's a record with that portal ID. If there is a record with that portal ID, it will take the value of the company ID and put that value into um, a BC company ID shared variable. So then, uh, once the mapping plugin uh, set that shared variable value, the uh, virtual table plugin can pick up the value and use it to translate uh, Dataverse CRUD API into Business Central CRUD API. So now let me show you in a demo. So in this demo, I will show you first uh, the two company within Business Central to show you different sales invoices that I will, uh, I will show later in the Power Pages portal addressing those two different companies. So for Kronos USA, you can see the sales invoices looks um, uh, like this. They have like about uh, seven sales um, invoices, right? And then if I switch to company to my company, the settings, you can see there's a, f uh, a fewer sales invoices. So that way you can remember um, in the demo which company uh, will be used. You can see here for the my company, uh, there's only two sales invoices, right? So now I will show you a Dataverse contact table where um, a user from the customer of a Kronos USA, for example, that will be used to access a Power Pages portal as a, a user from, um, uh, from the customer organization. So in this case, uh, I will be using this one. Say Robert Townies. So Robert Townies is a he's a contact um, for Adatum Corporation, which is the customer for Kronos um, uh, USA. So I will use his credential as a contact user to go into a B two B portal created with Power Pages. All right, and you can see here uh, in order to show only the sales invoices related to a datum, I have to create a new column in the contacts table in Dataverse, which is BC customer, such that you can create a syntactic relations that will only show a datum sales invoices in the Power Pages uh, B two B portal. All right, next I want I want to show the BC Business Central configuration app that comes with the virtual table plugin installation where you can actually set the global company settings. So in here, when you click on this configuration tab, you can see that by default, the whole company is, set, uh, the, the setup for the global company setting is a uh, Kronos USA. So that means any apps on any Power Pages portal we always show uh, entities, uh, sales, sales invoices, sales order uh, related to Kronos USA. And then if you go to the user table in Dataverse and find the user that you want to use, for example, mod administrator, you can actually assign a user specific company setting. And here you can see here, there's a company to default on forms. You can actually assign Kronos USA or my company or whatever company you have in Business Central and this setting will override the global settings. Okay, so that is a user specific company setting. And what I wanna show you right now is the shared variable, the, the mapping table that will um, be, be used to set the uh, BC company ID shared variable. So in here, I have um, this uh, mapping table and um, the mapping table has company ID, app application name, that is, that's for Power Apps, portal ID for Power Pages, and then user, right? So in, his, uh, the, in the last two row, I actually have two Power Pages portal with portal ID 1EC2 and 8818. They are all targeting different business central company. So one is targeting my company, the other is targeting uh, Kronos USA. You might ask where I can get those, um, uh, those portal ID, I will show you. So when you are actually in the Power Pages portal, you can actually go to the URL and then add this uh, terms, uh, underscore service slash about. And then you can actually see here, this is the portal ID for that website. And this one, you can do the same thing to see the portal ID. And you can see it here, right? So like this one is one EC2, <clears throat> the other one is 8818. And if you look at the, the table, the 8818 is targeting Kronos USA, the one EC2 targeting my company. All right, so now let me, um, let me just uh, start it with um, uh, showing you a demo of uh, three different access uh, by um, different type of user to business central data using Power Pages. 
So the first access is an anonymous access without signing in. So in this case, um, in my Power Pages uh, B2B portal, I'm allowing the business central item table to be accessed without any license and without signing in. So if I click on here, and you can see here all the items for sale that's uh, offered by Kronos USA, and I can show this data to any external user without any license because I allow them to do an anonymous read-only access. Now I'm gonna sign in as Robert, which is the contact for Adatum. Now Robert is signing in as an uh, Adatum uh, contact, and you can see here, it can only see the sale, oh, well, it's still looking at the item table, but now I can see invoices. And when I go to the invoices uh, page of this portal, Robert can only see invoices related to a datum. You can see here, all this posted invoice related to uh, a datum corporation. Now I'm gonna log out and uh, um, uh, signing back in as an internal user of Kronos uh, USA company. So let me sign out. And I'm sign in using the Microsoft Entra ID. And you can see now the invoices that I show is actually showing all invoices for the customer for Kronos USA. So you can see the invoices from School of Fine Art, Alpine Ski House, as well as Adatum Corporation. And these invoices are actually related to the global company setting that I said before, which is the targeting Kronos USA, right? Now, what I wanted to show you is actually uh, using that uh, mapping table, I will show you that this portal we use uh, Kronos USA and the other portal we use my, my company ID. So let, let's go back here. And if I sign in with the Entra, Microsoft Entra ID, it will check the portal ID and it will, it will look at the Kronos USA um, uh, invoices for the, its customer. But if I go to the other side and I do the same thing, we'll only use the my company uh, invoices. So in this case, let me log in with the same user. There you go. So you can see that we can have multiple, multiple sites targeting different virtual table uh, related to different business central company um, setting that we use uh, the mapping table for and the mapping plugin. So in this case, uh, uh, we have concluded the demo of, uh, of, the, of this section for, for uh, Power Pages on virtual tables. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.